Hi, this is Irina Slutsky reporting for Geek Entertainment Television from Los Angeles on location on the newly constructed set of RSS News here with Ronnie, the newscaster. Hi, Hi Ronnie. Hi, Irina. Hi. Hi. You know, I've seen you somewhere before. I just, I can't place it. You've seen me all over the internet. I am so famous. Here's a hint. What? Dearly beloved on Google search. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Moving on, can we have some conversation about your show? Because I want everyone to watch it. We're going to be the biggest thing that's ever hit the internet. Well, you know... Lonely girl never saw anything before she saw Ronnie. <laughs> well, you know, she does have a lot of um, lonely uh, stuff in her basket. Oh, it's a basket of loneliness. Yes, a frozen basket of loneliness. Oh, but how is sweet. It, is it kids' news or, or is it adult news? Well, as some of you may know... I was appearing regularly on Jet Set Show, and that's a kid's show. Yeah, and, kid stuff. you know, they do teenage stuff, and some of it's fun and cool, and that's all fine. But I got a lot on my mind, you know? Ronnie, what would you do if you could control robots with your mind? Hmm, what would I do? What would I do? Hmm. Ronnie, are you daydreaming about killer robots again? Sorry. So, we had to get out of that situation. Yeah, adult stuff on your mind. Yeah, parking in the rear, A lot baby. of parking in the rear. Yeah, <laughs> we got some good Listen, stuff Listen, keep here. your mind on the news. Oh, that's difficult with you, baby. <laughs> so, tell so, us. Jet Set Show. No, RSS. RSS. Yes. RSS News is going to be all puppet news all the time. Yeah. We have a couple of very talented puppets that we found yes. through Craigslist. So um, what are puppets? What's a talented puppet? Well, they can do a variety of facial movements and features, and they're quite funny. Facial For example, movements like... <laughs> I don't appreciate that kind of humor. Anyway, these puppets we found, we have Omar. He's okay. a militant weatherman, but he doesn't tell the weather. He tells the temperature in society. Ooh. Frequently, he's upset. Yes. And then we have Ernesto. He tells very, very sexy news. Ooh, can you do an imitation of Ernesto's voice? Well, I possibly could. It okay. would be something along these lines. Yes. I am Ernesto. Ooh. Welcome to the news. Very sexy news Ooh. today. <laughs> That's not bad, right? That's very good. I like uh -huh. Ernesto already. Okay, lots of energy. Yes. This is going well. Yes. And uh, when can we look for it online? A uh, couple of weeks, you know. We're working on it. Zadi and Steve are not the most reliable working partners. No, I hear about this. So we're waiting on scripts, and they want to do this set yeah. thing. And, you know, it's, it's really a bit of a pain. But yeah. as an executive producer, I have to work with the talent. Yeah. And it's very important that the talent is happy. Yeah. You people know how that is. Seriously. <laughs> Listen, you might want to get a hairstylist. I'm just saying. You look in the mirror lately? <laughs> look, it's emo. It goes whoosh. No, you I'm might want to get an emo dude. haircut. I'm just a regular geeky dude. Did you see my pocket protector here? I, I love your pocket protector. I've got some things here. <laughs> haircut. You might want to get a hairstylist. Very well. All right. So can we, um, can we talk to um, Steve and Zadi? Are they around? What do you want to talk to them for? Well, you know, you'd be nothing without them. You don't know me. <laughs> I'd love to get to know you. Maybe we can get together yeah, later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because you know there's parking in the rear. Now you're talking my <laughs> language, baby. <laughs> so I'm here with Zadi Diaz and Steve Wolf, and they are the creators of Jet Set Show and the upcoming RSS News. And uh, so you guys moved out here from New York, and tell us how it's going so far. Yeah, we moved out here about a year and a half ago, and it's been really fun. It's been a blast, because we've been meeting so many people in the tech industry, and, and online video, and we're able to meet all the video bloggers and people that are creating media. Yeah, so. I would say the California sun has burned at least 100 vocabulary words out of my brain <laughs> already. So I think it's been very successful. <laughs> and uh, so how did you start in the first place? Oh my god, well, online video back in New York, I was working on on, uh, with in indie media. I was doing a lot of independent documentary work and um, got into video blogging through that. And then when I came here, I started working with Rockaboom and then we talked about collaborating on some other shows and that's how kind of Jet Set evolved. And, and from there, we're just like, 
all these ideas came, flourished, you know. Yeah, why puppets? Well, puppets are a, a good way to act when you don't want to be on camera. Um, I don't really... Yeah, I don't understand that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I'm not that crazy about being on camera, but I like, you know, saying things and trying to be as funny as I sometimes am not. He has a big mouth. <laughs> Wisecracking through a puppet is a lot funnier than wisecracking through some asshole. But uh, seriously, I got to ask you, yes. man. Tell me. You've been a daytime television star for yes. a long time. You're on Late Night with Craig Ferguson. Yes. How many girls have you actually banged? <laughs> uh, uh, quite a few. So there's actually some puppets behind us, and these are some new characters. Well, this is Rita from Jet Set Show, mm -hmm. um, and now RSS News. Mm -hmm. And of course, Ronnie. Oh, we're demystifying the whole thing, but here it is, Ronnie. Oh. Ronnie's very upset right now. Ronnie and Rita are, are the <laughs> Okay. And then we have Jane coming up, who's, uh, you know, sometimes a little impossible. She kind of balances out the show. She's a very, bit a right wing. Conservative. Very conservative. Very conservative, yeah. conservative yes. And, uh, she causes a lot of difficulty sometimes. But we're trying to hang in with her. We have Omar, who, who uh, I think Ronnie explained to you who he was. He's the a militant weatherman, but he tells temperature. the temperature of society. Right. Yeah. And then we have Ernesto. 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 Very sexy. Your tufts of chest hair. Are, Baby, are, here's what you don't like, understand. That like is not chest hair. It just comes from the lower regions. Ooh, ooh. That's how sexy I am. Yeah. Very, very sexy. I, I think I'll be getting together with him later. <laughs> <laughs> so is there a video blogging community in LA or is it still mostly online? We do have um, an emerging video blogging community. Actually, Lon Bui, who is running the OC video blogging group. So we, we're actually meeting up with him in Oct uh, October 1st. And so there are a lot of video bloggers that meet up. And um, we do the Apple Store presentations every month. And mm -hmm. we meet a lot of people through that. Dan McVicker actually came through the Apple Store. That's right. And you guys <laughs> discovered him. Uh, we do like to take credit for Dan McVicker. <laughs> he did come to an Apple Store event that we were giving. But you know, I, one thing I will say about Los Angeles that's surprising is that you would think that there's a much bigger video blogging community here than there actually is. Now it's, we're starting to see more of it, I think, because mm -hmm. filmmakers are getting the idea that you know, there's another outlet for our work. But I think most of the people come here to go to mainstream media, mm -hmm. and I think for a long time they've looked at the internet as like a second-class citizen of yeah. entertainment. But I think the last six months to a year, that transition is really uh, taking yeah. place. I think that's what people need to understand, that it's not a stepping stone to a larger, you know, yeah, it's, it's its own industry that's emerging, that's flourishing, that's really being built now, and that's what makes it so exciting. Right. So. It's like, uh, instead of straight to video, it's, you know, straight to internet, but that's like a good thing. Right. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we kind of think of it as production companies 2.0. Right. And even though we're here in an apartment in Los Angeles, <laughs> it's the start of something. It's like being in a garage, you know, and yeah. I think there'll be a lot of people who, are, and like us, what we're thinking about doing is trying to put shows together, build a roster of shows, and then, you know, focus on each one, have them uh, generate revenue and make money, and we'll use that to go on to make more shows and try and build an entire industry that way. Mm -hmm. Have fun doing it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you guys look like you're having a lot of fun doing it. We're having a lot of fun. Surprisingly, because we're married and we work together and we're with each other 24 hours a day, we think we'd be pulling each other's hair out. But yeah. uh, but I heard, I heard that Steve cut your hair. <laughs> he did. I was sleeping one night after a fight. <clears throat> Next morning, I woke up and it was very short. Yeah. Yes. So. In between crying jags, I think she's very happy with my work. <laughs> so, yeah. so the future of uh, online media, video. The future of online media, I think, it, like I said, it's about um, people looking at this industry as as its own thing, not as a stepping stone to anything else. Just like theater is its own industry, radio is its own industry, the film industry is its own thing. The internet and online video is its own thing and can really be a great, great um, industry in and of itself. The future is now. I mean, it's, it's, it's us sitting here making this show and talking about this stuff. And, you know, it's about being a lot more personal and it's about involving your viewers and building a community. That's, those are really, as I mean, everybody who watches this show would say the same thing. That's the keys <laughs> to really launching something to the next level. Okay. So if you're married, start a show. <laughs>